So I'm about to make a video on fixing electronics because I do it all the time and uh, I never post videos on it. I, did, I fixed my smart TV's remote just in the last week and a half. I've fixed this PlayStation. We're hitting up this Bluetooth speaker, all kinds of stuff. And the thing to remember is these kind of electronics are really simple after you get a little experience. There's always a way to take everything apart all of it's mass produced in a factory so that any any dumb dumb can put it together assembly lines whatever so you just got to figure out how they come apart hidden screws stuff like that things to look for and as far as circuit boards go i mean get yourself some soldering and uh so soldering iron these are like four bucks at the store and uh besides that a precision screwdriver is awesome but a little small screwdriver that you got laying around to work too and uh circuit boards on something that's not working we're looking for corrosion we're looking for uh spots of solder that should be there that aren't and typically when you take it apart you can fix a circuit board really easily as long as you got some fairly steady hands i mean so many things are thrown away i just fixed a little mr buddy heater that was 200 dollars yesterday should have made a video on that and uh yeah so enjoy the video and uh use common sense and you can instead of throwing all this stuff away you know a ten dollar speaker hundred dollar ps3 uh two hundred dollar heater take it apart and fix it enjoy what's up guys fixing more electronics today and uh yeah, someone dropped my Bluetooth speaker in the hot tub. See all that moisture inside there? It wouldn't power on at all before. And then after it sat for a while, it powered on, but the volume button was stuck up, and then it was stuck down, blah, blah, blah. That's all because of moisture there on those buttons on the circuit board. So we took the back off of it. Bada boom. Three hidden screws right here underneath this uh, adhesive. Three hidden screws. Precision screwdriver. Boom popped off the back now we're gonna dry that all up and uh sit it in front of the the heat vent first for a little while it's not too hot but it'll dry up that moisture hey let's look down at this guy you can see there's some corrosion on that button and these after drying up this little guy is still the buttons are like pressing themselves so we disconnected the battery clearly labeled there and it's obvious this goes to the battery and that just pulls right out and clips back in with any electronics disconnect that battery we got a couple of phillips head screwdrivers right there and there we're going to take this board out and clean it up and we're going to look for bullseye or melted spots and what i can see is Right here, you see this little guy right here? If we go to the other side, let's see if we can get a good look. See how there's no solder? Let me get a pointer. There's no solder, that's a bullseye right there on that piece I wish I could hold my hands see how that's soldered clearly and this isn't looks like this guy fried um that could have been a previous problem see how all these other points the solder is so obvious the silver and I see a little corrosion right there we can clean that up too now I really don't care about this thing because it's a ten dollar bluetooth speaker from the dollar store but I just like fixing things, remote controls, PlayStation controllers, PlayStations, fix that PlayStation 3. And uh, so let's get that other board out and get it cleaned up. All right, use some solder. Solder and iron, a couple bucks at the store. That little spot that was missing solder, right? Let me focus. Come on, camera. Right there, it was missing solder. It's now filled up, that hole. I don't know if that was a problem with anything. Uh, it wouldn't... 
hardly ever connect to anybody else's phone. Mine was auto connect, like they'd already been paired before, and other people had a hard time connecting to it. So this little uh, control panel here, it just slid out. It slides back in. I need two hands to slide it back into its right spot. Oh, almost got it. It's close. Anyways. Always disconnect that battery when you're working on stuff. And, uh, yeah, let's throw her back together. Uh, electronics these days are real simple. You just, you know, one step at a time. Here we go. We got everything put back together. A little tricky to line up the, the board with uh, the screw holes because the screw holes go through the board in certain spots to keep it still. And that happens when you're repairing electronics. Got our little buttons over there. And uh, the two bottom holes go through the aux and the charging port and this is how it works you know basically pressing those button press these buttons on the board so we hold the power down the power comes on and uh this was the volume button so we hold it and it should beep there we go it beeps when it gets to max volume now we're going down with the volume before it was just beeping all the time it was stuck on it would power on it would power off whenever it felt like it with the moisture in there. There we go, all the way up at max volume again. So uh, we got this thing operational again. A little soldering, a little cleaning, but uh, yeah, cool.